So if this is a Galactus video, why am I showing Gwynpool? What she really allows you to do is buff Galactus. I just released a Galactus video where I was calling him a fun card and said he's very hard to get off. Gwynpool kind of makes that a little easier. Yes, she is random, but getting any amount of additional power onto Galactus is fantastic. How this originally started was kind of more meme -y. I wanted a way to completely clear my hands of all cards. And that way I knew the three buffs, six points, were going to go to Galactus to make him a 611, which allows him to go off on the last turn that much easier. Uh, that went about as horribly as could be expected, but out of that came this deck. So some of those components of getting cards out of our hand are in this deck still. We have Black Cat, which vanishes. Funny enough, during testing, I've played her a little bit, which is always weird. Uh, I may have some of those screenshots uh, displayed now. And Wasp can get out of your hand easily. We have lower cost cards in Nico and Nightcrawler. And we have Energy Cheat with Hope Summers to get down an early Galactus, follow him up with an Eliath. We have the Nimrod Double Destroy package, which if you've watched my previous videos, you've seen plenty of. We have, of course, Gwynpool, which can buff cards in your hand, which honestly works well with the Double Destroy as well if you can't get Shuri or if you're just not drawing well, but your opponent's also not drawing well. Just those extra points onto like a Venom or Carnage makes a world of a difference. And this video is specifically for one of my viewers who wanted a deck to climb with. I started at 70. I've climbed to 85 so far. There are a fair amount of bot games, but this deck is legitimately winning against real players. Okay, next up we are against Mick. Nimrod and Destroy, that can get into Sanctum. They have a regular deck. Probably a Surfer Gwynpool deck. Lemuria is the next location. Uh, I fold. There's really nothing to do. Nothing to forward my agenda. This is also why you're patient. Because of the dumb squirrels. <laughs> you, don't, you don't want to clog yourself. So turn four is just going to be Gwynpool, I guess. So I think I just snap... I will play Gwynpool middle? Question mark? Right? Right? I'm going right because... Uh, because they had less points there, it was tied. So, Eliath... If I can get priority and I could play Eliath right to stop their Wong play... So if I play Hope, Hope, Nico, Wasp, do I take priority? So we are going way off the beaten path with this deck. Gladiator. Oh, he's going to pull two. Something's going to stick, right? Okay, not Galactic. Or maybe nothing will stick. It was nice working with you again. Like and subscribe. <laughs> what deck is this? I mean, do I just slam the Eliath? Is that good enough? If it's something in Surfer? Uh, we're gonna find out. Let's see what you got for me. Okay. Victory. <laughs> What a what a match. So this one's tough to break down. <laughs> I had a clear line, which is why I snapped and it was going to be Nimrod destroy. But then I see the Wong. So I know I have Elias. So I just hard pivoted to there. The fact that Iron Lad just got lucky and hit Gladiator and it was a six power Gladiator. So something might have stuck and i want to say i don't use a deck tracker even though you can see my deck right now uh, i like to mimic the mobile experience so i can't see my deck i'm pretty sure i didn't have many cards that were six and above 
I have Nimrod in my hand. I have Eliath in my hand. And I guess Black Cat. Uh, Gwynpool's already played. So Black Cat was the one to stick. And even if it was real Gladiator, she would have stuck. But I also wasn't convinced that they just had enough power and they were running Jeff based on their deck. They had Gladiator Makari, so maybe it was Surfer. They had Howard. Gross. So maybe it was a Spectrum deck, but I wasn't convinced that they could get enough power to beat me in a tiebreaker with me playing Eliath. It was just going to nullify whatever effect they had here. And uh, yeah, I was willing to, to roll the die there. Even if they played Doom right, that still wouldn't have been enough. I would have won middle and, and right. So we were in a decent position to stick around and see if they could beat me. Okay, next up we are against Jade Phoenix. We are drawing cards. Okay, whatever. I'm going to discard Black Cat. I guess maybe I could play Nico into Carnage. This is a regular deck. I will be patient. Gotta run, hun. They get to play their Destroy Nico. I definitely would have played her if that was the case. Uh, White Hot Room. It would be fantastic if I had Nightcrawler for that. Even the Nico Moose spell, I'm still going to be patient. Okay, so Forge, this might be a Brood. And now I get my Destroy. <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting the cards all in the wrong order. I think I'm still patient. Kitty. Because if I draw into Galactus, they haven't played into Vormir yet. So I have Eliath in hand. Nimrod into Vormir is fantastic. I think I just play Gwynpool now. If I draw into Galactus, there's a strong argument to be made that I should play in there. We will see what Gwynpool hits. I usually like to play out Wasp. Hitting the Nimrod is nice. So let's see. Okay, I'm still gonna snap. They're going if they fill White Hot Room, it's going to be with Kitty. They'll play Nimrod here. That pops one Nimrod middle. I could change White Hot Room with Nico. I think I just Oh, they didn't fill. Okay. Hurry into Kitty. Look at you. Do I have priority? I do have priority. So playing a oh, no go back. A 16 power kitty. I think this is just throwing a lane. So if I do Venom here. Nico got hit twice. I might be able to pull this out. So I'm going to throw... I'm going to throw right. And play Carnage. Oh, I need to be careful with space. I guess I'm not... I can only have space for one. Because I'm going to send one here. So play out the Nico here. And just add power to the Carnage. Because... Whatever. I think this is... Okay, so they threw. So, this should be a whip boy if I had Galactus. Oh, that was an easy Galactus right. The unexpected power from the Gwynpool. And let's see if this is enough. It almost assuredly should be. Yeah, okay. So, what's Taskmaster? Oh, we got him. Hmm. <laughs> That's so beautiful. This deck, the more I use it, the more I'm falling in love with it. I love decks that have interesting play lines. To some degree, I've removed Reliance from Shuri. So Nimrod got buffed once, which sure, Shuri would, would have given Nimrod an extra, each Nimrod an extra four power. So of course that kind of stinks, but because I have Venom that locks in power, and because Gwynpool buffs... Did she buff? 
No, she didn't buff Carnage. So she buffed Nimrod once and Nico twice. So I'm still getting power. It's not quite as much as Shuri, but it is a very close uh, second. It, it, it is a very close backup to Shuri, which is just fantastic. And we're just able to slam out power. The opponent is not able to accurately predict how much power because of Gwynpool. We know exactly where we're going. And again, I really wish I could have showed off Galactus because that's definitely what I would have done. They hadn't played into Vormir. The lane was empty. We have eight power Nimrods. And so we would have had a five power Galactus. Three, we would have had three eight power Nimrods. If my math is right, that is 29 power in Vormir. They would have really had to have loaded up. They would have had to play Armor, Kitty, and Taskmaster <laughs> in the same lane, but that's just lunacy. Nobody would have done that because nobody's expecting Galactus out of this deck. So even though I didn't get to play him, this is a theoretical situation and you can see how he easily would have won here. Okay, next up we have Alex Toxics. Washington DC, first location. They have an Arisham deck. We have our Galactus early into Eliath. Orchis Forge usually likes to be an avoided location. I will play out the Nico into Wasp because that's another decent combo with this deck. I am kind of banking that they avoid Orchis Forge. Gotta run, hun. Get Black Cat out of our hand. And then hope. Well, they did avoid Arches Forge. <laughs> Nightcrawler for bonus power. I wonder if I can sneak a Galactus off. Can I sneak a Galactus off? Eventually. <laughs> I am Groot. That's why. Oh, go in middle would have been fantastic. Okay. Oh boy, we tried. Get out for one. I don't know why they're snapping, <laughs> but if you're playing Galactus, be prepared for the emoting. We're taking a short break so I can show you some clips that I recorded on my phone. So this clip right here, I'm showing I have priority. I've moved Nimrod to the left. I'm playing Galactus Center. They are probably a zoo deck with Kazar and Black Swan showing up, so their cards probably will get destroyed in Warrior Falls. And being able to move Nimrod left allows me to get two Nimrods middle. The Nimrods are six power. When they proc, there is a chance that they get destroyed in Warrior Falls and I lose. But again, it's a zoo deck. They probably are playing something smaller and that is what happens. Now for this clip, we have priority again. We have Nimrod in the leftmost lane relative to Galactus. So because I'm planning to play Galactus into Vibranium Mines, I have Gal Nimrod to the right of that, immediate right. So I will get two Nimrods. They have long center and we have priority. That means Galactus is going off no matter what. So ultimately when I play Galactus, I'm going to end with five plus six, that's 11 plus six again, that is 17 points. So Wong Sarah is typically Surfer, sometimes Hazmat, but they almost definitely are going to play into the Wong lane. Now for this clip, we are setting up for Galactus again. I'm hoping to draw into Nimrod. I love Vibranium Mines because people usually avoid that location. It's a very easy lane to Galactus. And we actually drew, thank courtesy of Nico, into the cards we needed, so I'm snapping playing Nimrod left, and I probably, I still want to go with the Galactus play. I don't have 
my destroy cards, Venom and Carnage, we have priority. This is huge. With Limbo, I can shut the game off right now and get four cubes. That is what I want to do. We did draw to a destroy card in Venom, and I do have Ghost Spider, so I could do some fancy business there. But we will just let the Galactus rip. <laughs> and hopefully 5 plus 12 plus 12 is enough to end the game. And so our opponent's cards reveal. And we get a simple long into a simple iron heart. And that just will not be enough. GG's. While I was recording actual gameplay on the PC, I didn't get too many Galactus games, but I wanted you to see like Galactus can be powerful in this deck. Okay, next up we have Fran Alu. Alau. We get down our Nico because she has our dest destroy spell active, so I always play her when her destroy spell is active, if at all possible. We are going up against a regular deck. Nothing to do, but we do have Shuri into Nimrod into Venom, which is always nice. More cards. If I play out the Nightcrawler, draw two and draw one, I'll play out the Nightcrawler for now. Okay, the Bastion Shaw, so we are going up against Surfer. Galactus is a no-go middle. I will play Shuri here into Nimrod and then Venom. Okay, I am going to snap. They've given me an extra turn to draw into Galactus. And honestly, even if I fail with the Galactus, I still have time to recover. Uh, I'm going to snap this. I also have a Lyoth in hand as well, so I can potentially guess where they're going to play Surfer. They're probably going to play Brood into Xandar, and so my guess would be Surfer over in the Sarah lane, but now I cannot Galactus, so that's fine. So I will do my best to take priority, and so I will Carnage here, and I will play Gwynpool over here. Does that take priority? They might play Surfer now. So they might do Wong into Surfer now. And I really want to take priority in the worst way. So I will play Venom here and Carnage here. Uh, let's get more points on the Carnage. Yep, there's Wong into surfer oh into mystique into surfer now and then an odin oh into hazmat okay uh oh <laughs> roll, roll do i do i stick this out because i did take priority so they might play surfer into or Odin and uh, there's also Luke Cage so I mean there's no decision here I definitely Eliath the long lane this is why we have Eliath in the deck so we did our double destroy they gave us an extra turn with Limbo thank you and uh, I am going to be super overconfident <laughs> and walk right into this so we we blast the Eliath, so they can't do any of that. So there's the abs man. That's not happening. Root over there. Oof. Not quite. So we we kind of read what they were doing. We I definitely knew to shut down the Wong Lane. I had to grab priority. You saw that. A Wong Lane with a free space. You see that. You've got to throw down an Eliath. It was key that I read what they were doing on turn five, going into turn six, which is why I stressed gaining priority with a life in hand to shut down their Wong. I expected Surfer. I know this is the, the toxic Sarah Surfer hazmat. Playing meta decks are very dangerous. <laughs> 
because everybody knows what is in your deck or everybody should know. And so I'm familiar with the meta decks. People are not familiar with my deck. So I have kind of a built-in advantage in a lot of these matchups. As long as I stay a small content creator and I'm not influencing the game, I'm able to come up with these homebrew decks. People just walk into these four and eight cube losses because they don't know what to expect from my deck. Okay, next up we have Profound Grill. Nexus. Now the funny thing about Nexus is if I can get enough if I can gain priority, I can get Galactus to go off in a different lane. So this is going, thanks to Starlight Citadel, this is going to be a guessing game. Ravona, maybe they forget that Starlight Citadel is going to change the locations. Boy, the Nico Destroy spell is super nice. I'll see this through on the snap. Let's see what they're up to. Ooh, Mr. Negative. Okay. There is our Galactus into Eliath. So now we hope Nexus switches middle. <laughs> that is all we are hoping. That Nexus switches middle. Come on. Show me middle. No, but I do have priority. Oh, this is going to be ugly. Oh, I'm sorry for what I'm, I am about to do. So I want seven energy next turn, so I'm going to play Wasp, Middle, and Galactus got hit by Gwynpool for nine. That is such an easy proc to have go off. Oh, this is, this is going to be a massacre. One spot open, there's no way they play here. And even if they do, I have seven energy. I can play a 12 power Eliath and a Nico. This is just going to be fantastic. There's no way they gave me four cubes, yes. And there's no way they give me eight. <laughs> Not a chance they give me eight cubes. Oh, that was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Because playing Eliath, there is nothing in a Mr. Negative deck that is that high power. No, but the Eliath obliterates no. And so this is just GG. Maybe they, maybe they do. They played no. Oh, we got eight out of them. Oh, Sage. Okay. Thank you for your AC donation. That was absolutely filthy and disgusting. This is a perfect showcase, and I gotta say, I like to end videos on an absolutely devastating win if I can get them, and this was absolutely devastating. Call an ambulance, but not for me. The deck worked to perfection against a turn three Mr. Negative deck. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, we are going to go into how I built this deck, how I came to this point, and then some bonus clips. So when building a deck, what I like to do is start with the one, two, or maybe three cards that I want to build around. I knew that I wanted to build around Galactus, find a deck that I could climb with, with Galactus. I've never climbed to infinite using a Galactus deck before. And I would like to do that. So that was the goal here. And Gwynpool, we have our season pass card. Galactus's problem is he's only five power. He's tough to get off. So how do I buff him? By getting my hand as empty as possible. So the cards that I can do that with are Wasp and Yellow Jacket. Who else gets out of my hand? We have Black Cat. So get her in here. What else empties my hand? We have Blade. Okay. And these are the cards around Gwynpool, right? So Gwynpool buffs cards in my hand. I don't want cards in my hand except Galactus. So I play cards that Black Cat jumps out of my hand. Wasp and Yellow Jacket can be played for free. And Blade is cheap and also gets more cards out of my hand. So then I go to building around Galactus. Galactus and Eliath are a very good team, if I can spell. 
So we throw in a Lyoth. Now, in order to play a Lyoth, I need to get Galactus down on turn five. I need cards that give me extra energy. What do you know? We have a card that gives us extra energy. Oh, I could maybe throw Arashem. I haven't experimented with that, but that cuts drastically the consistency of the deck. So I won't mess with Arashem for that. I could also go with Magic. She extends the game. I might be able to get a sneaky turn six Galactus off that shuts down Limbo. And then we have Nimrod. That helps add power to my Galactus lane if I'm able to get off. You know who's friends with Nimrod, Shuri. And then I also need a backup plan of destroy cards. Venom is fantastic for that. Venom, and then I also need another one in Carnage. So what will I get rid of? Let's get rid of Magic, and we will just lean into Hope. Carnage, this is the deck. So this is kind of close to the first iteration, and as the first iteration, iteration of many things goes, it's not that great. <laughs> so I took this in, and it was okay. Or it didn't quite perform to the expectations that I had for the deck, something that I would want to present on a video. So when I take a deck into a match, I go, what card am I not playing? I was not playing Blade at all. So we take Blade out, Nico, because Nico is versatile. There are, there are opportunities when she can give me priority because of the demon. She can slide into odd locations. Her draw two spell is fantastic to increase consistency and destroy more cards and get them out of the way, keep your board clean. So that's fantastic. So I took this in and it did a little bit better. And then I found that I wasn't particularly playing Yellow Jacket. The funny thing is with Hope, you can play Hope, Wasp and Yellow Jacket on the same turn, get six energy on turn four into a Galactus. And then you can play Shuri into a Lyoth or Black Cat into a Lyoth or Gwynpool and Nimrod into a Lyoth. So that's how I go about building a deck. I don't think this matches exactly. Well, I didn't take Yellow Jacket out, but I will go back to this final version, which I think the only difference, yes, is Nightcrawler. So the thing that Nightcrawler does is it's a card that I can play early without worrying about any debuffs, and I can potentially play games with moving him around. He is a cheaper Jeff. So there are some substitutions you can make. So feel free to ask me if I've made any modifications after this video it goes up live. I'm almost positive I will have hit infinite by then. I'm 93 right now. And so if you're interested, stay tuned for some bonus clips. Monster Metropolis. America Chavez always makes me think bot. Let's see what they're up to. Yes, it's a definite bot game. <laughs> Easily a bot game. We get Galactus up to nine. So Galactus definitely goes off. So you see the buff. We'll just throw Galactus in the Quantum Realm and see how nice this bot wants to be. Galactus goes off. He does go down get reduced he gets negative three power so i'm at six so uh, i don't want to change the location so i will play nimrod and then nico and we'll see how nice this bot wants to be if they are playing iron man or not okay there we go the bot was very nice and gave me the win and uh bonus clip right here i'll play hope middle oh actually it can work because if i play hope middle and wasp here perfect this is another use case of why wasp is in the deck man and this has got to go in the bonus clips because it's against the bot but i definitely want to show some of these play lines so hope into Wasp allows me to play a five cost and now. So depending on where this slides, that is where I'm going to play the Venom. So this is just me showing the play lines. This is exactly why I played out 
Hope into Wasp in case Nimrod goes middle. And now I have the Venom play here. And I guess I'm hold on the Nico. Sadly, I think playing Venom into Hope actually doesn't trigger her bonus power, so that's something to note. Uh, that you'll want to avoid if you want the bonus power. But here we're playing into Vault, so we're, we're fine ultimately. We're going to play Elioth left. I probably could play him right, but why... Why take that chance, right? They're completely locked out in both lanes, so again, that's why this is a bot play. This is probably a retreat. <laughs> so queue it up, unless... Oh, the bot wants to be nice. So we almost assuredly win here. Yes, we do. So you saw a unique play line, but it was against the bot, so we just move on. Make sure you maximize your cube gains when you're playing bots, please. Snap on them if you see any wacky play. It's like a weird mystique. Let's see. Gwynpool. They haven't snapped, so I'm sticking this out. Hey. Hey, guess what? I don't think they're modocking. <laughs> <laughs> Modok is in their bin, uh, but I, I don't think that... Opponent snapped. Listen, all I want to do is just play Galactus right here. That's all I want to do. That's it. And this is what it was last game. The, the game I was referencing earlier. Where it's 4 to 0. And they just abandoned this lane. They fortified the two lanes they had power in. And so I just want to slam a Galactus and win five to zero. Do it. Do it? Okay, do it. Here we go. <laughs> that was all you show the tap. You get you get full credit for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy, Neil, Neil, right now. <laughs>